Hey everyone, uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be fixing the bottom drawer, or actually the rail would hold it, because as you can see in the bottom, on the right and left there is supposed to be a rail on either side. Now one option, of course, is to have my assistant here get right in the way and in the box. That is Sherlock. Yep, loves boxes. The other one is right behind there. Anyway, as I was saying, one option would be to buy the rails and put them in. However, uh, I want to do it without using any money. I believe I have some pieces of wood uh, that I can use on the bottom to sort of create my own layer for the drawer to slide on. It won't be like the rail itself, so... Uh, I'm going to mark the bottom and then we will go out in my little workshop and see about putting a base on there so that uh, the drawer is not tilted sideways. Because you can see without the rail on the left hand side, you know, it, it's already not going to work very well. And the one on the right is half broken. There he goes. So this video is going to be kind of educational for me, entertainment, because I'm not sure what's going to work the best, but I found a couple of pieces of stakes I used to use in my garden for uh, plants, to hold them up, tomato plants. And I'll just angle the camera down a little bit lower here. And I'm just going to try something just pretty straightforward and simple to start with. I'm going to put these, one here, and there'll be one on the top side. And I'm going to screw it down in and just see how the drawer opens and closes. I just have to cut it off on the end. And uh, we'll see how that works. All right, so here are the two pieces that I've cut. And I'll move the camera back to see if I can get a little better, better angle. But I'm going to tip this up. So that we're looking, actually looking at the back. So literally, I'm just going to slide these right underneath. And let's turn this around. And I know this isn't the best test because nothing's loosed in, but... Actually, I think that's going to work out pretty well. So I'm pull the drawer out. As you can see on the inside. And I'm going to leave this guide in on the right-hand side, even though it's only a partial one. And there's a leftover screw here. I'm not going to bother to take that out since it seems to uh, not be bothering anything at all. So the next step is I think what I'm gonna do is just do something really simple. I'm just gonna uh, glue these down and that should hold I pretty good. I am back in my house to finish this part. So I'm gonna remove these. The drawer anyway. And I do wanna try something real quick. I talked earlier you see on the left hand, the right hand side, partially broken guide, no guide on this side. Now I found a wooden dowel and a couple of old screws. So just for a minute, I'm just going to try putting this in there to see if it will work a little bit as a guide. So again, this part is completely experimental. I don't know if it's going to work, but it might be fun to try. I have pre-drilled some holes in this so that it will not split. All 
right, actually that is the right size. Uh, the wooden dowel uh, is just more gonna be a guide, nothing else right now. Again, this was partially broken and I just need something steady on the bottom. So and I'm gonna line these up because I wanna make sure that I put them in the right spot when I take the drawer out. All right, so let's take these out. I've got the back marks on the back. All right, so here is my sofa. This is where this was previously located. There's a right, all right, in there. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, it was definitely fun and educational for me on uh, trying to use some things I had around. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thank you for watching Mark and May.